As the number of people testing positive for coronavirus in the Nelson Mandela Bay rises past the 6,000 mark, some experts say imposing a stricter lockdown will be futile. Hospital data shows that the rest of the country is reasonably stable, but hospital admissions indicate that Mangawung in the Free State is also a hotspot. To expand on these COVID-19 infection patterns, I'm joined now by uh, Dr. Jablani Ntaiyana, an epidemiologist and senior lecturer at the University of KwaZulu-Natal. Very good morning to you, uh, doctor, and thank you so much for your time. Uh, I suppose the festive season is fast approaching, and um, the COVID-19, um, the handling of the virus is going to be a huge challenge, especially with the big numbers that we see coming out uh, of the Eastern Cape as well as the Free State. What do you believe um, needs to happen in this uh, aspect to contain the spread and ensure that we don't end up in a lockdown, serious lockdown situation again? Well, yeah, I, I think the, the, the most uh, important thing is to target those uh, areas with uh, high numbers of cases uh, and make sure that we contain the transmission in those areas so that it doesn't spread to other areas. So um, that would require intensive testing uh, um, and contact testing in those areas and making sure that people uh, that are exposed are, are quarantined and those that um, are also testing positive stay at home. And what are the big challenges that we're facing um, in this space, especially looking at the patterns and the trends that um, are coming out of this particular period? Well, as you, you know, we, we've been in the lockdown for uh, months now, and uh, what is concerning is that um, people are getting tired of sticking to the preventive, uh, preventive measures of wearing a mask, um, keeping social distancing. And, but we cannot, uh, we cannot afford to do that. Um, the virus is still very much around and waiting for the opportunity to spread. Others uh, within your, your industry, within your field of expertise, have said that a higher level of a lockdown will be a futile exercise. Do you believe that uh, is, is reasonable? <laughs> Yeah, it is reasonable, uh, but I must, I must emphasize uh, that we're referring to a nationwide uh, lockdown. Uh, what would be reasonable is lockdown in those areas where there are hotspots, because you want to, in those areas, target those areas, lock down for a period of time, make sure you contain the virus there. But uh, an, a, a nationwide lockdown wouldn't make sense at all. And what are the solutions here? I mean, COVID-19 is still with us. It's still a very serious um, uh, virus. It's deadly in some instances. What needs to happen? Well, Paul, as you know, a few days ago, there was an announcement that there may be a vaccine on the way, but that's still very far. Um, so until the vaccine is, is here, we must stick to the prevention measures of wearing a mask, of keeping social distancing and, and maintaining hygiene. Those are the things that uh, we must maintain. Those are the things that have worked for us and we must uh, keep uh, at it uh, until such time we're getting a vaccine. With, with that vaccine, I mean, we know that it's proven 90% effective in the ongoing first and final phase trials, which involve more than 40,000 people um, uh, then a year after the, the, the coronavirus emerged in China. With, that, um, with the results, I mean, that was good news for us to hear. What are the big challenges that still remain for us to eventually reap the benefits of this vaccine? Uh, yeah, as you know, the, the, the result, I must emphasize, they are, they are preliminary. So it's, it's, um, uh, they still have to do a final uh, evaluation of those results. And, once, and then once that uh, is, is done, then there is an approval process that takes time. Hopefully, it can be expedited in these circumstances. But even if, even if that's the case, uh, for us, for a general population to get the, the vaccine will take time. Hopefully, uh, uh, and I'm thinking uh, probably the people that will be prioritizing people like healthcare workers and, and, and the vulnerable population. And uh, you and me may be uh, back in the line for getting a vaccine.
Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time. Let's leave it there for now. Um, Dr. Jablani Gayana, an epidemiologist and senior lecturer at the University of KwaZulu Natal, speaking there to the number of people testing positive for coronavirus in the Nelson Mandela Bay, as well as some um, in the Free State, warning there that uh, interventions can need to continue to take place uh, against COVID-19, as many have forgotten that COVID-19 is still very much with us.